The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. Welcome to Connor Commentary, a hilarious take on news, politics, sports, and current events. It's time to buckle up. Here's Connor. All right, guys, we are back, and it is week 43, 4, 5, some, somewhere in that range. And we have the very special guests, Pat and Ed Sullivan. Ed, I, Pat, welcome back, gentlemen. I like the way you count the weeks. I do. Every week, it's I like to... It's almost like a siege or something. It is. I like to... Week smooth. 43. Week 43. <laughs> you know, I like that. smooth. I know. I just don't know this week. I like to keep track of it, though. That's how we know when milestones well, are coming. And then you get the intro where... It's a hilarious take. I know. That's really for the audience to decide. I was going to say, someone did tell me that. That was like that was very bold of you to come out and say that it's a well, hilarious take. But is. I didn't make that intro, by the way. Who, who made that? The fans. Uh, the fans. Did you know they wrote it? <laughs> it sounds like the voice of Mr. Jonathan. Oh, it's definitely the voice of Mr. Jonathan. I, was I don't just, know who wrote that's the text. That's what I was thinking. Who wrote it? Because I know Mr. Jonathan did it. Yeah. Great voiceover. Yeah. So it was really a stated hope. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That now that that was written forty something weeks ago. What, what do they say? It, it was aspirational, right? It was aspirational. Yep, that's when I came here and we decided we were going to do the show. Yep. I told you I had no idea what it was going to be about, and we thought and, hilarious and, and, and hilarious. hilarious. And now I have you two here. Yeah. Yes. Well, forty whatever weeks it is. Forty three. Forty three. Forty three weeks. And now Ed's been retired for thirteen of them. Has it been that long? I think weeks. roughly. Roughly. Wow. So you said as soon as you as soon as you called it quits too is when the coronavirus it's hit. It's a pandemic. Then it's a pandemic. I know, and you know, but sitting around thinking, okay, when this pandemic ends, yep. What's the first thing I'm gonna do? And, and you were like, go on Connor's show. I couldn't really come up with anything. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <You know? laughs> so Here I think are. I'm good. All right, you know. What's the most excited thing about retirement life? Anti-social club. I was going to ask you that. That was my first question for Ed is, is what's the most exciting thing? You're just being in the anti-social club then yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. So you stay at home and you and Pat both comment in on the show. So now I have, have you on here live. So no one's going to comment in, Ben. You're off the hook today. Right. Now, Pat. Do no, you, we no? already have some commenters. So no, we do. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Probably heckling Pat. Uh, it's mostly Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Sean said he was going to come and harass you in person. I know. He said, it, how come O'Leary's always ready to bring alcohol in with him? <laughs> nah, that's coffee. Wow. That's what coffee. You, should we check that, Ben? It's Wednesday. Do we want to see what's in that? Does it pass the sniff test, Connor? I yeah. highly doubt it. Ed? Is it alcohol? I don't know. It smells like hand sanitizer. Yeah, exactly. hand sanitizer. That's <laughs> what he's drinking. So there so, is alcohol. So there is yeah. alcohol in yeah. there. Yeah. That's a bold. That's a bold strategy. Well, we didn't. We didn't need to get him the water. Then. Could be pulling a kitty Dukakis. <laughs> yeah, you know. would call. It I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, they don't know. <laughs> they what don't I'm know what you're about. talking about. I got gotcha. you. Who is it? Kitty Dukakis. I don't know who Kitty Dukakis is Pat. Do you know Kitty Dukakis? Never heard of that in my life. All right. Mike Dukakis. Oh, that's a, like an old politician, isn't it? Yes. Okay, Ooh. the Dukakises, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. coming out. That's very funny because speaking of Mr. Jonathan, he made a comment downstairs, and I told him I was going to tell you about it, and I told him I was having the trivia off between you and Pat because mm-hmm. Pat said that he could beat you in trivia. He's going to go back on it and be like, I never said that. He said it, so now it's a, now it's a challenge. Mm-hmm. I'm like, we got some history questions, and he goes, oh, well, that's not fair. Ed was there for most of history. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fair point. Yeah, that's what he's, that's what he's trying to to say huh. all right what i was going to ask you guys too we got to do the whole trivia thing ben's ready he's excited ready to go ed what do you think of ben's performance since you've left Ooh. how do you rank it and pat you're next fantastic oh yeah you give him 10 out of 10 he's had to carry the show most he has weeks. he has <laughs> most weeks he is the man so he's got to press buttons and carry the show he's got to press um, buttons he's got to carry the show and he needs to keep up with the comments between you two Right. So it's a, it's a lot of work for him. It is. Pat, what do you yeah, think between I, between Ed and Ed, Ed and Ben? It's a perfect transition. Like you have you like Ed so? always calling you out, like yep. absolutely shitting on you. <laughs> and then Ben tries to help you out. Like he's a motivator. I yeah, appreciate awesome, that. Yeah. He's, he's <laughs> far, far more helpful. Yeah. Than my <laughs> now you know the game plan. Yeah, yeah. I bring him up. Yeah. Yep. Ed tears him down. Yeah. <laughs> I like that though. You gotta yeah. you gotta stay humble, you know? Ed loves uh, it. We gotta keep it going. I want you to feel good about yourself but then ed wants you to feel how you he, really should feel about yourself very, very yeah. true like you're doing right. good everything's going well it's like yeah you're doing all right yeah i'm more of a realist that's yes. true yeah yeah 
Ed, Ed keeps it 100. In, in other words, what Ed's saying is, he's honest and I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you only lie to be a nice person. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's different, right? Yeah. You just don't want to hurt people's feelings. No. Ed, Ed just doesn't give a fuck, right? <laughs> give a fuck. That's about right. Yeah. Con- Connor, the widow's peak looking great today. I appreciate yeah, that, I dude. It. I gotta get I gotta get a haircut. I I need a new barber or something. You think he's rocking the Eddie Munster? I'm a, I'm a <laughs> always always man. My father this, always called him Eddie Munster. His dad did always call me Eddie Munster. <laughs> this is this is the closest it's got, man. And the barber shops are finally opened. I I don't I can't yeah. get in touch. This is what happens when you don't have a barber who answers I, your text. I got a haircut last week. Did you? What, are you really busy or something? Yeah, yeah I got a lot going on these days. <laughs> I'm preparing for this show every week and uh, it strikes um, me, you might be the only person with less to do than I have right now. I literally do. I literally don't have anything to do. I have this show and every Wednesday you watch this show, I think that's the only thing either one of us have going yeah. on. <laughs> we have that penciled in for Wednesday at 5. Outside I, of that... I don't see evidence of great preparation for the show. No, no, no. Not, ne- not necessarily. Although <laughs> not. I, I, had to, I had to rip off half my sheet and give it a bend to yeah. for the trivia battle. So you wrote it twice. I, I did write it twice. I got the good news segment, Ed. We never, you never had the good news segment. There was no good news. There was no good news with you. No, we, all, we always did the bad news. Although, since I left, the world's gone to shit. It has. That's why I'm bringing in the good news right, segment, to, to lift right. everyone's spirits up. That's, that's my job you, here. You stole that from uh, John Krasinski? I stole it from John Krasinski and probably multiple other people. Mm-hmm. It's a big thing, right, Ben? People doing good news now? It's a pretty big thing, unlike I'm you, hopping on the bandwagon. John Krasinski actually sold his to he did, CBS right? or something <laughs> yeah. like that. I'm not going to lie. The show, the show is for sale. Someone wants to purchase it okay. like that. You know any buyers? No. You're a big radio guy. Ed, I got 10 bucks. What do you got? Eh, that's not a bad offer. <laughs> is that too much? It's a Ed, Ed's, high. That's <laughs> like I'm not going in that high. I'm not going in. <laughs> All right. We got to do the good news. Then, Ben, you got the geography question? Sure do. We got a lot of new things to start. Pat's a geography ace, right? Uh, I got a good C+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably better than I did. Ed, did you get good grades as a kid? You strike me as someone who did good in school. I did okay. Did you? All right. Yeah. You were smart, right? Yeah. Okay. Engineer, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. All right. All right. This is funny. Be- this isn't funny for Red because we were just talking about this before the show. And it was, it was a high school diploma. So in Somerset Island Prep Charter High School in Key West, they handed out diplomas at sea on jet skis. That's so awesome. They, that's pretty that's awesome, amazing. right? That is amazing. I saw that on the thing. I'm like, this is freaking cool. Mm-hmm. So they went out to sea. And Key West, is that a rich area? Like, how do they all have jet skis? It could be rich, no? but then like, there's a lot of homeless. Over is there? there too. Yeah. Maybe they all, so they all but run yeah, around on jet skis yeah, opposed to a lot cars. of tourists. But, yeah, big tourist destination. Yeah. Okay. So they probably could have gone to the local jet ski rental. Yep. And then they all took jet skis out to the ocean so they could social distance. And then they would go and get the diploma and they'd hand it to them while and they were on a jet ski. How many people were in this graduating class? I did not see that. I didn't hmm. see how many people actually did like that. like six. Yeah, yeah. There was, there, was, there was nobody that went out there. It, wasn't, it, was, it was like a tiny thing. Oh, although that sounds really dangerous, right? Oh. Oh, 100 percent you're a, you're a dad would you be on board with it <laughs> kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they're a liability issue that's, that's what i'm sure. thinking to go out to sea like that what if someone 18, something right? happens yeah i would imagine right you're usually yeah. 18 i was only 17 when i graduated high school would you though. listen to your parents if they uh, said you couldn't go on that ship no <laughs> yeah, I, I was only 17 when i started college were you yeah for a week or two that makes sense yeah and would you let your daughter go out there and get her diploma in the middle of the ocean on a jet ski if she would like to, sure. All right. Would yeah. you go out there and watch? No, I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't going to go if it was in a stadium. I you you weren't going to do that either? I probably would have had to. You would have had to. Had to I, yeah. I got to be honest. It's I'm sort of glad. Yep. No graduations, no weddings, <laughs> no, no funerals. And you really you know. are like me. You just want to stay home and not be bothered. That's kind of That's, that's it. why you, you were. Is, did you start that club? The anti-social club? No. No, I was going to say, you you might be the only person in it, right? I started an anti-social media site. Did you? Yeah, it's just me. (laughs) Nobody else. I I could get on there. No, you can't. There's no friends then, right? You can't friend or follow anyone? No. All right, all right. So how does it work? You just go on there and that's it? I just go on there. (laughs) All right. (laughs) All right, Ben. What do we want to do first? Geography? Or? Or trivia. (laughs) 
I say geography. Okay, well, we'll start with geography. Do, do, do I answer this one first, or do they answer? Yeah, it's your geography. Ed's going to sit Ed, this Ed, one Ed, out. Ed, Ed, all right, but I get was, Pat. You two. Okay. You can, yeah. Pat, right. Pat will be your lifeline. All right, yes. all right, so I can phone a friend. You can touch a friend. Okay. Uh, don't touch Ed. Okay. Um, um, Ed, it's Ed, good. <laughs> Ed's out of this one because he already knows the answer. Oh, of Because he was with me when yeah, I was okay. doing this. Okay, that's so, fair. Each week, yep. we try and figure out where is Connor commentary, and we pick out a place in the world and see if you can figure it out based on a couple of That's right. quick questions. So, this week, right now, you are in the least populated state capital. State capital? In the United States. Oh, my goodness. I don't, I don't, there's not, there's not a lot of state capitals that I know. <laughs> All right, O'Leary, we're going to break this down. We've got to think of, like, states. Montana, right? State I would capital. break it down. How many guesses do we get? 50. 50? No, three? <laughs> they don't know 50 capitals. Yeah, we don't know 50 capitals. There's no, I couldn't name all 50 states. We got to break, break it down. To what, s- Montpelier, maybe? Vermont. What is that? Vermont. What is it called? Right. Is, that the, is that the capital, though? I would think so. Oh. Is that your final answer? <laughs> no, no, no. Not yet. Yes, yes. We'll take one shot at that. We get three tries, right? You are currently in the home, the actual home, okay. of Ben and Jerry's. That is in Vermont, isn't it? So... But what is the state? What is the capital of Vermont? I'm pretty sure Ben and Jerry's is in Vermont. You are in the only state capital without a McDonald's. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Burlington. Burlington, Vermont. Is that, is that yeah, it? I think Bur- yeah. Burlington, Vermont. That's your final answer. Yes. Yes. Mm. Oh, Shit. come on! You should have gone with Wait, your instinct. Is it? Is it? Pat, is it trust Vermont? your gut. Trust your gut. You he was originally right. said it. You were right from the beginning. Oh, no way. Wow. What was it called? Montpelier. Montpelier? I've never even heard of Montpelier. And that is in Vermont? It's the, the <laughs> <Yes>. next state <laughs> over. It's the <laughs> next state Turns over. Turns out it's the capital of it's Vermont. It's the capital of Damn. Vermont. Wow, O'Leary. Unbelievable. Sorry, Unbelievable. I have to buy O'Leary a beer after that for this one. <laughs> Okay, I'll be home late. <laughs> <laughs> also, everyone, New Hampshire has opened up here, huh? Have you guys gone out at all? To do what? To the bars? <laughs> to, like, to go out to eat anything? No. No. I don't think Ed or I do that regularly <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys don't go out? No? Ed, I know you. Where would I go? I know you don't want to go anywhere. You no. don't want to see anyone. No. You don't, I mean, want, you don't want people to bother you. Driving here, you saw everywhere outside was I packed. I know, it's packed. Mm-hmm. Good, I mean. They're back, they're back up and running here on uh, 28. It is fantastic to on see. 28 so, here in Salem, New Hampshire. I believe there was a challenge. There was correct? a challenge. There was a trivia challenge on the table? Yep. Ed challenged me, I guess. Yeah, Ed, Ed, challenged, <laughs> Ed challenged Pat and said they could beat him in trivia. All right. So we. Have I, th- I don't think I can. You don't think so? No. We have three. All right, we'll see. And also, I have a bonus question. <laughs> okay, fantastic. We have yep. three trivia <laughs> you questions. You have three questions, and then I have one about Connor commentary. For Ed and Pat. And so whoever chimes in the first gets the point. All right. So There's question, no buzzer. Question number one. We're ready. In which year did the Titanic sink? I thought Ed was going to know this one for sure. I'll give you a clue that's not even on this sheet that you gave me. It was the same year that Fenway Park was opened. 1912. Oh! Ed. Ding, ding, ding. One point for Ed. Oh, that's what it was. Because when I looked this up, I knew 1912 was an important year with the Red Sox. It was literally like a few days apart. Yeah. Yep. Wow. And uh, I thought it was when they sold Babe Ruth, but that was yeah. apparently well, in 1920. Was there. Was Ed was there. Ed was at the paper. first game. Ed was the iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the ship to come in. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a thing today that before the Red Sox, there was the uh, Boston Bean Eaters. Yes, they're yes. Boston Americans. They're, they've had a bunch of different names. Yeah, they were the Boston Bean Eaters. That was a really that interesting name. That doesn't sound good. No, they no, I don't Red know. Red Legs at one point. Were they? Yes, sir. Yeah, I saw. I saw a thing in, from history that the Boston Bean Eaters beat like the Chicago uh, White Stockings. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so White, um, White Stockings versus the Bean Eaters. This is a very uh, Irish panel we've got right now. I know that's why I did Sullivan, this. Sullivan, Carney, and O'Leary. Sullivan, Carney, O'Leary. So when ne- next question, question number two: When Saint Patrick safely escaped from his captors and reached home, what did he become? A saint. Mm. Wow. That, was in- that was incorrect. Although I guess he technically became a saint way down the line. Okay. Hmm. Part of a storyline. Technically. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so no, he just kidding. escaped. He escaped. He escaped. <laughs> he escaped. He escaped. <laughs> his, captors. His, captors. his captors. And reached home. home. What did he become? Wouldn't so you make what? him the king? No. No, he did not. No, it wasn't a king. Think of General. a more 
a title that is more applicable to a religious person. Oh, now Ben's giving well, hints. Well, oh, I gave him <laughs> the first. <laughs> the pope. They wouldn't have made him the pope, so he must have been like a let's go a little bit lower bishop than that. or a cardinal. Keep going lower. Priest. He became a wow. priest. Wow, that was wow. it. Oh, Larry, you couldn't pick priest. up on the context clues? I'm not a big Catholic guy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the ranks. <laughs> know yeah, the, the ranks. <laughs> Were you going down the ranks there, Ed? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you got your cardinal. Is, so. is that the top of the line? I thought uh, it was the Pope. The Pope is the, the boss. Pope is, the Pope is the boss. And then you have the College of Cardinals underneath that, and then you have bishops. And okay. Then you have, oh, shit. And yeah. knights. Did you guys? Oh, no, that's chess. Did you go to yeah, that's I was just going to say, did both of you guys go to Catholic school? I did not. You did not? Did you, Be babe? awkward for a Jew to go to Catholic school. Um, <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> that would be awkward. A little bit. <laughs> Question number Great three. Great education, though. <laughs> Question number three. Who was the first player in Major League Baseball history to hit for the cycle in a postseason game? The hint is, it happened within the last 10 years. No. Huh? 10 uh, years. Uh, Brock Holt. You, I don't have a... Like you, a, you, don't a ding. Bing. You, don't, you don't have a dinger, but ding, ding, ding. So I think that's a tie. Was it a tie? I yeah. think that's a tie. And uh, I, I, I don't know baseball shit. You don't know anything about baseball? No. You don't watch the Red Sox? No. no. I, Did, didn't he hit it off like a right fielder, his last pitch? He like did. The last home he run. did, yep. Give him shit. Like yep. He hit a cycle. Give it up. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> he hit for the cycle like, in the playoffs. People, people complain. Like, yeah, like what? If he rode a cycle, Ed would be impressed and would know about <laughs> That's it. That's true. Yeah. Right? But uh, you haven't even been riding your bike that much, right? No. No, no, I've been no very interest. Busy. Busy, yeah, busy getting prepared for the show and stuff. Mm -hmm. Studying for the trivia. Studying for, <laughs> studying for the trivia. <laughs> that I didn't know about. That you guys going to say that you didn't know about. So Pat did have the upper edge there because I did tell him we were going to play trivia, but I did not give him any answers, as you can tell. Right. I studied he, we, for we have a couple of comments in from the audience. All right, let's see it. Let's, let's take it to the it. audience. Let's Sean, see Sean Whitaker. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with Sean Whitaker. Okay, I love to hear from Sean. <laughs> he says, I'm shocked every week at how little Connor knows about anything. <laughs> <laughs> that is an extremely fair uh, assessment. Uh, another comment Very comes true. in from Vic Jordan, who says, Connor, it's time for a wardrobe change, bud. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice shirt. I wear the same shirts. I cycle through them every like six weeks. Do you wash them? Uh, I think I do. Yeah, I get them dry cleaned, actually. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we have another comment here from and Ross. And they always smell. Ross, Ross O'Connor says, Ed needs to rise again and save us all. <laughs> Are you Jesus, Ed? <laughs> I, I also think Kinda. that is that Ross, is that an insult to Ben? Does he want Ed to rise again and reclaim your job? If it is, it's a fantastic insult to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not offended in any way, shape, or no. form. He right. doesn't offend easily. No, do you Ben have the tiebreaker? I do have a tiebreaker, and oh, it's about shit. Connor commentary. Oh, oh no. Fuck. We're prepared. Let's get it. And no one I didn't tell Ben the answer. 43. To this one. 43, no, it's not It's not the... Uh, you have a question? Uh, Tiebreaker question? Tiebreaker question, I did. Uh oh <laughs> Ben, play, ben plays all this music. Hey, we... Uh, it doesn't cost a con or anything, right? <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say this. <laughs> no. I had to explain that to Pat before, because he wanted like a uh, coming in song, like it was the WWE. <laughs> what song were you going to play? <laughs> no, it was uh, by T.I., Bring Him Up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How much money would they charge me to play that song on a, on a podcast? They wouldn't charge you. They would just sue you. Oh, okay. And take it down. Yep. And uh, you'd be in YouTube jail forever. Okay. The, uh, YouTube jail. I'm going to be honest. The show is not prepared to fight a lawsuit right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, unless Craig Higgins is watching and wants to represent us for T.I.'s legal team pro bono. Does this show have a lawyer on retainer? Yeah. We do. Mm. Do we? Yet? Yeah, that lawyer dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's he, on the show. Yeah, he just doesn't know. No. He just doesn't know, but yeah, if we ever but yeah, get into trouble. Yeah, I guess he is our lawyer, right? Yeah, yeah. technically. Take oh, you on pro bono? <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Who, who are you going to call? I would have to call him. Well, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mean, can you, sir, can you help me? <laughs> no, I didn't know if you would. I thought you'd be in serious, like Studio 21 and somebody on retainer or something. No. No, no. Not quite, bud. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't, I, there's so many shows. I don't know if anyone ever try, randomly like gets sued for saying something. That's why you put the thing at the end, right? Oh, disclaimer, yeah. The disclaimer? Yes, sir. So in case Pat or Ed says anything out So they outlandish. sue you and don't sue us. That's a good point. Because then they're like, oh, damn it. Studio 21, they had nothing to do with it. All I right. heard the disclaimer. Yes. All right. So you have a fourth question, a tiebreaker question. Yeah. I do have a fourth I'll play question. Play the music again. Play the, oh. play the music again. Connor commentary question. It is a Connor commentary question. Who is the Connor commentary view leader? 
I want to say it's Michael Magaletta. Wow, that is correct. Really? Ed, did you know? No. No, it was Michael Magaletta. I'm not and really, it, a student. Was it his dating? Was it the, the, the dating one? It was not the dating one. It was his second round on the show when he talked about the Patriots right after Tom Brady left. Oh, oh wow. that was the you say farewell to Tom Brady episode? Yes. Yeah. Well, well, also, big credit to Ben on that one. He created the thing that made it very catchy to people's eye. Yeah, I do what I do. I um, do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube. Yep. And that that's Facebook. That's Facebook. Yes, this is on all YouTube, Facebook. On YouTube, you have a different show that's number one. I do? Yes, you do. Do I know it? I can't remember the kid's name. From Arizona. Oh, 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 that kid was good. That was a oh. good show. That was a good episode. With the uh, conspiracies? Yeah. No, with the, not the conspiracy kid. The, no, this kid. was the conspiracy kid. This was the conspiracy kid. Oh, no, kid. that kid was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the audience agreed with you. Pretty much because yep. the retention rate on that episode was extraordinarily the lowest low. ever. Yeah. I, I saw that. So a lot of people clicked on, and then a lot of people clicked off. Yeah, they're like, psycho, no. So, yeah. I, so I guess a lot, a lot of people were into the conspiracies. I think they thought they were going to be into it. <laughs> into, and, and, like, and, this kid has nothing. <laughs> this is, and, this until is a reliable they, source. Until they <laughs> saw about the actual content. He's getting yeah. all his information from Netscape. Yeah. <laughs> what is Netscape? Exactly. Ed, do you watch this stuff? You no. seem to you seem to be well versed, right? Yeah, I'm not big on conspiracies. No. So you no. think the coronavirus is real? As far as I know. Yeah. Are you concerned about it? No. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't think I don't think Pat's too concerned either, right? No, I was in the beginning and then I just stopped like so yeah, you can't keep up. Right? No, you're right. I, mean, you can't. I think yesterday asymptomatic transmission was very rare. Yes, now it's yeah. back today. I yeah, saw. Who know? Yeah, it's like, I, I don't even know who to believe anymore. Whatever no. I'm reading. But I yesterday would have been the day to, to go about, out then. Yeah, exactly. While it was safe. Right, and then there was the thing a couple of weeks ago where they said that now it doesn't really live on surfaces. So I yeah, guess we didn't that, need to Clorox everything like crazy. So yeah, my question was like they said three days live on surfaces like. But now as they're saying it doesn't. It so doesn't. Like, where right. did that? Where did that math come out to play? Like, <laughs> right. Like, right. Why was I think? You know what I'm saying? Before it's like se- you got 72 hours. Now it's like you got yeah. nothing. All right. Next question for all three of you, Ben. This well, this is gonna be a tough one for Ben. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, fa- thanks for the faith. F- favorite <laughs> favorite guest. Well, you weren't here for the first like 30 shows. So it's a Did personal you, thing? Yeah, we could ask anyone who the favorite Of course favorite I can was. answer that. Yeah, so well, well, I'm not. saying you missed, like, you missed like the, fir- the first 30. Or did you go back and watch them? I watched some. Did you? I wouldn't say I Which watched ones did you all watch? of them. Let's hear it. I was going to say your favorite guest, or my favorite guest of yours, mm-hmm. your mom. My mom was never on the show. Well, she had a second. She did have a segment. Does that count? That was. Does awesome. that count? Ed? That segment was awesome. I liked her cake a lot. <laughs> that's true. Ed was really big into the cake. I mean, that's the only reason I stayed as long as I did. <laughs> right. So you but, already one foot out the door. Then I pretty much left after the cake. I think. I think you <laughs> left the Mrs. next Connie's week. This is an unreal cook. <laughs> yes. Yeah. She's, she's phenomenal. Pat. Pat knows. I mean, my favorite episode was uh, Pat's episode, of course. My man. Oh, that makes sense. That was- I mean. Week Fo- seven. Follow closely. I like that lawyer one. That was a good He was episode. really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. A- Absolutely. Who was the kid? Was it from California? I thought it was from Arizona. The kid from California. Like, um, he had a radio station. Oh, yeah, yeah. That kid was really uh, good. JD. JD. From yeah, 1033. Yeah, yeah. He was uh when he was like he's like you spoiled Patriots fan. Like, oh yes, like, that yes, is so true. It is so it is so, the, true. so the true. The former amp radio. The former amp radio. I was actually going to ask you about that, Ben. How does a radio station just disappear? Well, it didn't disappear. Oh, it just. It, but AMP doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, you know they flip they, formats. It happens all the time. Does it? Yes. If a radio station is getting really low ratings and really low revenue, yep. they're just going to look at it and go, okay, let's try a different let's try style country. of music. Exactly. <laughs> yes. That's always, that's always the go-to is, oh, you guys are going country. Is that the new thing? The new thing to go to is country? No, but that's always like the threat. <laughs> right. We'll, ch- we'll, ch- we'll turn you into a country station? Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. That makes sense. Now, Because now it turned into like 80s. Yes, because the biggest music radio stations in town right now, at least with a certain specific demographic, is WZLX 100.7 yep. and um, WRR 105.7. Those are the two biggest music stations for the male side of it. So if you're going to look for that side, you're going to kind of go down that same path, which is what they're doing. Right. So, they, so that's, they, that's what they tried originally with AMP to compete with KISS 108. Right, right. That would make sense. That didn't work because you're not going to compete with that monster. 
And so now they're like, okay, maybe we can take some of the market share away from ZLX. Maybe we can take some of the market share away from ROR. That's pretty much how it happens. Okay. So the same company owns it. They just said, oh, let's turn the lights off. Turn the lights off and turn, change everything and turn so, it back on. Turn it back so on. So they're really targeting the old boring people demographic. <laughs> yeah, you know Apparently, why? Because the old money. boring people have money. Yeah. <laughs> well, also the old boring people listen to the radio. That well, do you listen to the radio, Ed? Most of them no. do. No, you Ed, don't. Ed's Larry, the you listen to the radio. I'm, I used to when I was in the car, but I'm not driving anymore. Actually, that's true. Yeah, there's, there's, I mean, I'm never. When would I ever listen to the radio? You know, that's very true. There's just nowhere to go anymore, except for when sports come back. All right, so if the what, N- are right. they coming back? The NBA is coming back. I think guaranteed. NHL, NHL, NHL I think is going to come NBA, back. Yeah, the MLB is at a standstill, and I think might just not have a season. And the NFL might go on as planned, right? So if they were to have fans in the stadium, would you go? No, I wouldn't go anyway, though. That's what I was thinking, because I wouldn't go anyways playoff either. So game, it wouldn't matter as far, as far as the coronavirus. So, Leo, you always go. Are you going to go? Playoff game, I'll be there. If it's a playoff game? Yeah. Are they going to make the playoffs? 10 and 6, baby. 10 and 6. Ed, do you think they're going to make the playoffs? <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't seem that <laughs> seven, confident. Seven <laughs> teams, too. Seven teams make it. Does that seven? count this year? Yep. Does that start this year? Are you sure? Positive. Oh, really? Not the 18 game season, but the playoffs. The start. playoffs start. So, oh yeah, because they're going to an 18 game season too. Yeah, in two that's, years, I think. Yeah, that's tough for these people's bodies. Yeah, I don't think they're going to make it. You don't think so? No. Who do you have winning the division? The Bills. Buffalo. Buffalo. Oh, clearly. Yeah. Now that they have uh, Stephon Diggs, right? So they got Stephon Diggs. They have. Yeah, uh, that was a, that was a big. Yeah, pick that was a big pickup. They they already Josh, had. I, dude, I think they already Josh had John Allen's Brown. Trash. You think Josh Allen's trash? I think he's trash. I think Whoa. he's decent. No, you'll you, see. You think, you don't I, think I don't, he's going to do anything with Stephon no. Diggs? Uh, did he, he threw for fifty six percent completion pit percentage last year. Like he uses his leg. I don't know. I just don't trust Josh. You don't. You don't think he's gonna do anything? No, I don't. Ed, you think he's gonna go ten and six? No. Ben, Josh Allen? Yeah. Yes. You think he's gonna do well? I think he'll be okay. He's not gonna be the focal point of that offense. Yeah, right? exactly. but that's a good point. Th- they have a good defense, well coached team. Uh, they're gonna be fine, and right. they're in a pretty weak division. Very weak. Very, Very weak, weak. All of a but sudden, if Buffalo goes six and ten next year. You guys shocked? I'd be shocked if they went six and ten. Yeah. You, if Buffalo though, I yeah, mean, if Buffalo, Buffalo went six and ten. Like, what have they? Like, actually, that's that true. Actually, Buffalo. that's true. Yeah, it's just you're, like, you're right. <laughs> Buffalo is super inconsistent. Will but. Buffalo have more wins or more cops patrolling the stadium? Ooh, <laughs> more cops. More cops. More cops. More you cops. sure about that? Because I think 53 of them just bounced. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they, they just resigned from that crowd control. Yeah, duty well, that's, that's don't what, let. The truth get in the way of a good story. (laughs) You you want to speak about crowd control, though. That's where you need the biggest crowd control in the world is the Buffalo tailgates. Oh, it's awful. Have you seen those people? Because of what? The wings. The wings, no, because of the people throwing each other through tables. Oh, yeah, they. they, <laughs> they, they I'm sure they have. I'm sure they have great wings, though. I, they do actually. Mm-hmm. I've had them there. I've been to Buffalo. They basically will do a WWE match in the park, like the table yes. on fire, and yeah. the friend will like power bomb them through it. Yes, and that's to pregame. Yeah. yeah. Right, and then they throw. Well, when they're actually at the game, they usually throw dildos on the field. That is true. They have been known to do that as well. I don't. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but they they definitely throw in multiple sex toys out there. Yes. Didn't they hit Gronk or something? Um, Didn't they throw it at Gronk after he scored a TD or something? Probably yes. Gronk he, he notoriously kind of deserves dis- it. Do you think so? Yeah. Why? What do you have against Buffalo. Gronk? He's a douche. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very rich douche. Yes. <laughs> That's very fair. Gronk has been on, been on a, on a money making tear doing all these different fake comebacks and WWE, and now he's unretired. He's I, scooping up a lot of money during his one his, year hiatus. Yes, his, his, one year, his one year hiatus was a great money Good grab. year for him. It's a good year for him. You think Brady told him, like, next year we're not going to do anything, take a year off? <laughs> I'm going to Tampa Bay. I, I, with I, I hope not, <laughs> like, but, me, I don't but think maybe. Brady said it like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but I think just, there was a conversation between the two because Brady knew Gronk did not want to be back with the New England yeah, Patriots. Yeah, 100%. Right. I think he just said, because Brady talked about it on the Stern interview, that yes, he, he knew before the season which is crazy was to be me. his last. Yeah. So I think there was chatter all along. Hey, yeah. don't worry about it. They'll trade you to us. Don't worry. Yeah, he yeah. was kind of mopey. Yeah, at the end. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah. He wasn't the same. Well, he's, he did win us the Super Bowl. He though. was. He was mopey. He did. He did. He did. That was with dude, that big catch and the yeah. Chiefs catch too. Yeah, third and 11, fourth and eleven. I think it was. 
That was bad. Yeah, back to back to back. He got yeah. third and third and ten. Third Adam and ten. Third Adam and ten. Adam and ten. That's the thing. Is Jared Stidham going to be able to do that? No. no. Ed, no. was there ever a period? That's in a your resounding life? no from everyone. Was there ever a period in your life yeah. when you were <laughs> only a goats do that? Big sports fan. Yes. Big. Like a yeah. You're a big Patriots fan, though, Ed, aren't you? Patriots have followed. Yeah. Since, you know, Jim Plunkett. Jim Plunkett, since 1971. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Jim Plunkett. Yeah, was he good? My, my dad. Uh, not when the Patriots <laughs> had him. Awesome. But he was pretty good for the Raiders. Oh, yes. My dad talks about I've, I've heard of that guy. Yeah, then he went to the Raiders and right. was good all of a sudden. And won two Super Bowls. And the wow. Patriots fans all of a sudden forgot that he sucked while he was in New England. Why can't we get him? Yeah. <laughs> why, why can't we Wait, get we guys like him. that? Yeah. Yes. Oh, so you went through the dark days when they couldn't oh, even play very, on TV. Very, very dark days. You had yeah. to go to New Hampshire, that. right? My dad said, like, yeah. you kind of like liked it for an excuse to sneak out of the house so he'd go out with the boys <laughs> he'd go New he'd go over to new hampshire where it's yeah. opened you know go, so like, go sit outside watch, watch the game oh, yeah right uh, and so you know bledsoe never gets the credit he deserves that was the My turning point bro. yes amen yeah. for the the whole oh, he, organization class act. yeah yeah what was it 30 for 30 on, on bledsoe i forget did they it's a shame i forget yeah it was like an I forget what it was, but it was amazing. Like he was the classiest dude. Like, oh yeah, like, was it, it was the Brady nice. Six documentary? No, blood, just on Bletto. Oh really? Yeah. Ah oh, man, I forget what it was. It started on the NFL Network though. I know when Be- when Bletto took over, he. I mean, when Brady took over for Bledso, Bledso like went all out to make sure, like, to help him. Oh, all to, out. Yeah, and which I, is tough to lose your job. Yeah, <laughs> I, I oh, had yeah. a lot of unkind thoughts about Tony Eason. So did everybody <laughs> in this like, region. Oh, no, don't let him. <laughs> was he? Was he? Was, was Ron Meyer your favorite coach too? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Are these the coaches prior to Bill Parcells? Yes. They well, were, Tony Eason was a quarterback. Okay. Ron Meyer was a coach, and they they had a very poor display to the point where they wouldn't allow them to play on television. They were no. Out. You had to sell out. They yeah. couldn't. Right. Sell out they again. couldn't sell out, so they they blocked. So that was it off the rule. TV. You had to sell out. Yeah, yeah it was a blackout. Oh, so they weren't rule. the only NFL team then. Like, no, no, but. Um, does every you NFL didn't get team to watch them? many oh, home yeah. games? I'm sure they too. eliminated the blackout. Rule. Oh, they did. Yeah, they got rid of the blackout rule because it was really just bad business, right. For them to do that, uh, so no, they don't do that yeah, anymore. It was based on this premise that well, if we don't show them, then people are going to come watch. Yeah, and that nobody didn't went work. to watch the Patriots. It was probably the exact opposite. They're well, like, oh, if they're on TV, I'll watch it, but I'm not mm-hmm. actually going to go to the game. And then they can pump <laughs> the thing with commercials like they do now. My dad would say like <laughs> it was dangerous to go to games. Oh, like you were going brutal. to games to go to fight. Yeah. Like, yeah, I heard brawl. that too. I heard Gillette like, Stadium. You literally had to like, go get your hands up. Horrible. <laughs> it was yeah, that's what he horrible, said. He right? said it was pathetic. Metal benches. Yes. Cold yeah. metal benches. So there were no actual seats? No, no. It was no. just a bench. You just sat on a metal bench? Yep. Yep. And like, that was like before. A high school it, stadium. Yeah, it wasn't called Gillette, right? It was Sullivan Stadium. Sullivan Stadium. Okay. Sullivan, Sullivan stadium. stadium. It was Schaefer Stadium. It was Foxborough yeah. Stadium. Schaefer's, I remember Foxborough Stadium. So it was Sha- And yeah, there would just be people. It was mostly drunks, right? Oh, yeah. People would go there just those to get were, hammered and get into some scraps. dark years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you ever go to them? Oh, yeah. So you were there? Yeah. The worst back like then? Like throwing hands. The worst <laughs> back then was to go to the bathroom. Okay. If you had to pee, yep. you had to pee at the trough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, one of those. Like everyone <laughs> one else. Of those things. And you're all just standing there next to each on top of each other peeing. So in awkward. The same big bin. Oh, that's yeah. so awkward. How did you know? Did you use the bathroom there before? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I've been there before. Wait, you went to a Pats game before Gillette? You've been to Yes. Oh, Ben's, first Pats Ben's game, old. He just looks young. First Pats game <laughs> I went to was 1996. Wow. Was so, Patriots Steelers. And the, so what year so we go to the Super Bowl? 98? Was it 98? We went with Bledsoe to the Super Bowl? 96. 96. Oh, yeah. it was 96. So 96. 97 was the first year. Okay. I went so ni- we, don't okay. Rem- we don't remember. Yeah. Back so when 96. they. Yeah. Back for yeah, Bledsoe went, went, went to the Super Bowl. So I know. 94, they went to the playoffs and they lost to the Bill Belichick Browns in the yes. first round. Yeah. 96, they get back to the playoffs and then make it all the way through. To finally lose to the Packers in the Super Bowl. The Packers, well, uh, it's, un, it's unfair. Brett Favre was out there. He couldn't feel a thing. He was just slinging the ball. Yeah, he was, well, he was <laughs> high as a kite, too. <laughs> I, I, know, I know, that poor I, guy. I did go to the coldest home game. Did you? I, well, you wait, remember that one? I think I can guess which one it is. It was a playoff game. It Tennessee was, Titans. Yes, absolutely. 2004, 2003. Yeah, it was brutal. 2004, I remember that. It was like negative it was something. Brutal. If, if you went and got two beers. Yep. The second one was slush. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was free. <laughs> we were trying to cook out there. You could not get the grill hot enough to cook meat <laughs> on. <Wow. laughs> I, rem- I remember that ga- that very specific game, yeah. 
That was versus uh, the Titans when they had Jeff Fisher as the coach. Steve McNair as the quarterback. <laughs> Steve McNair. Steve McNair. Eddie George as the running back. Eddie George. He was wicked good. Mm, you yep. guys, Jeff Fisher missed a seven and nine, eight and eight every season. <laughs> With this, that must have been a good year, and they must have went nine and seven and snuck into the playoffs. The king of mediocrity. The king I, of I mediocrity. Think they were thirteen and three that year. Were they? They were uh, legit. Yeah, wow. They were pretty good. That was that was his uh, his peak. Easily. 99. 99. They made the Super Bowl. Oh, lost yes. By lost inch. lost by an inch. That's literally the inches speech in any given Sunday. <laughs> they, <laughs> lost by, they lost by an inch. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. All right, boys, what do you guys have to add? Anything? Ed? You always, no. you always have wise thoughts, right? Really? No, you give just us, the Give us a little like, motivation. A little you know, motivation. The, the people well, need the it. People, yeah, what, people want to hear it. Right? coming. Is, I'd, I'd like to see Connor get back to work. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. If anyone's listening. Yeah. You got you a wanna, job. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know. I mean, do you have any prospects? Is there any hope? There's, there's hope that uh, people are going to come in and buy cars, and I'm going to get called out of the bullpen, you know? Yeah. I'm waiting for the call off the well, bench. Well, I mean, are they giving away cars yet? I I, you don't even know I, what I don't deals. Even, I don't even know it. what deals, but I would imagine yes. You would I would think. imagine. I would imagine that because some of here people want to drive something. People nice. want to drive something nice. You can come mm-hmm. in and get a new car if you want. Honestly, I'm I, thinking about it. Sold, I sold. Yeah. I sold family cars. Really? I did. I did. We're loyal. They are so, yeah, They're loyal. Pat, loyal when you customers. go in, say I'm going to buy this car. But I'll only buy it off of Connor. Yeah. That's what he. Let him get one sale. That's what we do. <laughs> I, I've been living off those three one sales, <laughs> three sales from his family for years now. That's what's kept me employed this long. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I mean, you probably don't want to deal with me. Yeah, you're, you're you're probably a serious negotiator. I, I, oh my yeah, god! Oh my god! Yeah, dude, dude, you know, sale, I, I just, for, uh, for no money. <laughs> I just go in and say, "Well, this is what I'm going to pay for a car. Yep. You want to sell me one? Yeah. And if they start talking. Yep. The answer is yes or no. All right. Then, okay, I'll go to the next place. Wow. Yeah, you're yeah. right. I, Have I've you ever gone to a ads. place then kept, went back? Never. 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 Wow. Never. So you're a one-shot guy. One Either shot. Either you do it or you don't. And, you know, the the biggest thing is uh, if you got a trade in. Yes, that's they true. They want to screw you on the trade. I don't care what you're calling which price. Yeah. I, I have a amount i want to pay right yeah. right so ed's ed's educated you never want that <laughs> no you, you don't want to deal with me <laughs> right I, I already knew even before this i would have said the same thing ed is a starch negotiator and listen i'm not i'm just looking for a fair price that makes sense part of it is you know i don't want to put a place out of business i'm yeah. not looking to get a bargain i just want a fair deal if you ever want to come in ed i'll give you a fair deal on any of the cars we sell but i don't think you want to get out of your audi we don't no, have, we don't no, have anything of we don't have anything of high end like my, that my daughter's looking for a car that's true and, that's you know, true i said to her well what kind of car white <laughs> <laughs> now that's All what right. that's what we want <laughs> i said well do you, is there anything you features you bluetooth Okay. All right. Yep. So all I know so far is a white, a white car, car with, with Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Sounds simple. She yeah. might want a hatchback. Okay. So, yeah, why not? Just get her an Econoline van and install Bluetooth and you're done. <laughs> Save yourself some no, money. No, I forgot the small. Okay. You know. Small, I mean, white, and Bluetooth. Yeah. You make that work. Right now, she's got a small white car with no Bluetooth. Oh, boy. That's not working for her. Yeah, that and makes... That, with I mean, the, with the new good. laws, man, you can't be calling people on the phone. No, and you, you sell the Volkswagen. That's oh, what yeah. she's got I have now. a Volkswagen. Yeah. I have a white Volkswagen. With it Bluetooth. Has, with Bluetooth. <laughs> but with I, Bluetooth. I think she wants Apple CarPlay. And I have Apple CarPlay. Got that Let's make a sale Volkswagen. right now. Yeah, yeah, why don't you just right sell now. his car to your yes. car? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but you don't have a hatchback. This is happening right now. I don't have a, ha- I don't have a hatchback. No. I don't. Vote, well, Ed, your daughter's going to have to make a concession. Yeah, yeah. I know. One, oh, no. Either that or no Bluetooth. Does she want the famous Con- uh, Connor Carney's car or what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a lot of seats to try and get I, I we'll just, Everyone will autograph it. The uh, sentimental value to that vehicle. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to pay a premium to get a <laughs> Connor Carney. It'll, it'll be like a John Voight LeBaron. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know what John Voight LeBaron is, but correct. Exactly. It was the Seinfeld reference. Ah, okay. Ed gotcha. Ed, like like a, a, a Chrysler you. LeBaron? <laughs> yes, that's what it was. <laughs> All right. John Voight used to own it. The actor? <laughs> was that the... Which one was Ricardo Montalban doing the commercial for? Ooh, I don't remember. He'd talk about the fine Corinthian leather. Ooh. I just remember Jonathan Price doing the Infinity ads. Mm. Sounds fancy. 
Yeah, I that, like, I like that. Fancy. No, I, th- I think I could come see you because she's not looking for anything fancy. That's easy. I can yeah. do that. You got I, white cars. I got white cars with Bluetooth that aren't fancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Pat, you have anything to add? Give the, no. people, give the people some motivation. Come on. Phase three is coming. Phase Mr. three positivity. is coming. The summer's coming. What are you going to do in phase three in the summer? Oh, NHL's coming. Uh, NHL's coming. What am I going to do in the summer? I'm just go outside, go to the beach, <laughs> yeah. go on the boat. Is all the ice going to melt? I hope. Well, they, Not. they got they're ice in Florida right now. <laughs> Right, right. No, they can figure it Just out. Just turn yeah. the NHL into water polo. You're fine. I'm, th- I'm, not, I'm not opposed to that. Street hockey. Chara would dominate. <laughs> Street hockey would be even cooler. Street hockey would be sick. Ben, what are your words of encouragement for the people? Uh, we're all fucked. We're all fucked. All right. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't agree Thank with that, you. Guys. <laughs> just in in the long, <laughs> long, long, long scheme of things. Okay, so just, <laughs> just have fun while we can, then. No, but it's encouraging that you know that, and yeah, once I, you know I, that I you're fucked, you can live your life accordingly right. and have a happier, more Expect productive life. The worst. Exactly. Okay. Because okay. it's coming. Uh, is this our goodbye? Sure is. Am I ever going to see you again, bro? Is this our goodbye? Uh, no, I don't know. We, we'll see. You guys will get. You guys can get maybe, comments yeah, maybe, next Wednesday, right? Yeah, maybe show fifty-seven or okay, something. Okay, I like it. I, yeah, fifty-seven. I so I'm another gonna, arbitrary I'm, number. I'm writing that Exit down. 50, yeah. Fifty-seven. Yeah. <laughs> Pat and Ed return. You know, that's awesome. Like Heinz fifty-seven. Yeah, I like that. All right, so it's like fourteen. We're back 15, for fifty-seven. 14, 15 so, Ben, can we get a countdown every episode to like when you come back? Yes, yes. I'll put a countdown in like. 24 that's <laughs> each, each week that's how we'll start it <laughs> could you run a like a timer on the screen of every episode each, yeah each days week. and hours <laughs> <laughs> i'd go nuts I mean, we'll do our best it'll be a big we'll do our best then. yep that's uh, why be a hit. anybody who wants to come in person sean whitaker vic jordan come wow, on down week awesome. 57 you can Throw some things, but right. nothing's nothing that can injure people. Because yeah, we <laughs> shout out to Paulie the Wolf too. Oh, actually, yeah, you're right. Shout out to Paul the Wolf. Congratulations on his daughter, Marissa Jane. Right? Is Marissa that the name, Jane, Marissa yeah. Jane? I love it. We'll be over to see you soon. So once we're past the corona, because we want once we're past audience. the corona, yes, yes. Once we're yeah, past yeah, that, yeah. With every yes, with everything said. All right, guys. Thank you. We'll see you next week. We have Jatine coming back in round three. Is We're he excited. the one who thinks he knows about investing? Yes, you can comment he in. He thinks he knows. <laughs> oh, Let him know. Let him teach know. Us, teach us some stuff. Yeah, I'd like to review his portfolio. Review the portfolio. <laughs> He's a good dude. Especially, especially after all the dips and ducks and dives and <laughs> yeah. dodge. <laughs>The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.